Hi, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a loop in GarageBand using the iPad. We're going to use a simple acoustic guitar track and one of the drum loops included with GarageBand. So let's create a new song. Let's go to the audio recorder. First of all, we want to pick out the drum loop that we want to use. Now the pattern that we're going to be uh, using a loop with will my guitar pick should sound something like this okay so let's figure out what the tempo for that is first of all I'm not going to need the metronome we are going to use the count in for this because we want to have a count in for the recording so it's 110 what we want. Um, okay, pretty close. Let's keep it at 110. And time signature 44. Okay, so everything looks good here. You see it's the 1 through 8 at the top. That's because the default uh, setting for a loop, or actually a section rather, on GarageBand is 8 bars. So we're going to keep that the same. Okay, let's pick out a, a drum loop that we like. Now you can listen to all these drum loops that they have here. For instance, this one. That was fine. Okay, lots to pick from. Actually, I've already selected one down at the bottom, uh, which is this one. Okay, let's hold it down. I'm going to drag it up here. This is going to be our drum loop. Okay, sounds good. Now what I'm going to do is plug my headphones into the iPad so that I can listen to the drum loop as I record the acoustic guitar. Okay, this is going to give me a four, uh, four count lead in. You're not going to be able to hear this or the drum track as I play guitar because I'm listening to it through my headphones. Here we go. Well, hold on a second. Something isn't right. Let's go back here. Oh, my fault. Made a mistake here. I didn't create a new track. Let's move this over. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me this. My fault. Let's go back down here. Okay. But that I actually need to create a new track. And okay, now we're good. This is gonna be the guitar track that we're gonna record. Sorry about that, my mistake. Alright, here we go. See how this sounds. Oh, one second, let me take the headphones out. There we go. Now this will this will loop back around here. Okay, and if you want to, you can export this in iTunes, but just to create a basic loop that just goes on and on and on as much as you want, that's how you do it in um, GarageBand on the iPad. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this is helpful.